Surf therapy is, is something, like I've mentioned before, is becoming recognised as a, as a genuine form of, of therapy for not just children, but frankly, all people who struggle with mental health. I'm not an expert in it, you know, but essentially it uses surfing as a tool to equip and enable people to overcome and deal with mental health challenges that they might, they might be having to, having to deal with on their own. And in terms of how it works, you know, from what I've learned, having spent time with this charity called Ways for Change in Cape Town, South Africa, also having seen it for myself and its, its impact on, on young people and adults, to be fair, who I know, and personally speaking, how it's helped me deal with bereavement, I know it works. And the reason why I think it works, I guess it's kind of multi-layered. First of all, the ocean is, or just being outdoors, I suppose, but particularly being in the ocean and in moving water, it helps to reduce levels of anxiety. You know, the ocean and the sea, we all know, is inherently calming. Whether it's the regularity of the waves or the rhythm of the waves or whatever it is, it's a very, very calming environment to be in. It's also an environment that is not judgmental. You know, being out in the ocean, there is no judgment. Um, and that's, that means, and that's an important one because it means it's a, it's a safe emotional space, which is important for children in particular. Surfing is also fun, and you're almost doing therapy without necessarily realizing you're doing it, which is, which is a beautiful thing. It teaches emotional resilience. Now, a lot of these kids, particularly in Cape Town, where I was spending time with this charity, but I'm sure it's the same over here, a lot of children who, who have experienced horrendous life events struggle with emotional resilience almost by definition. They haven't got the support network or the positive relationships needed to pick them back up again and get them back on their feet um, and to keep going. And what surfing does is just being in the water with a surfboard, you'll see children, they'll fall off. The first time, they'll, they'll, they'll fall off. Um, but guess what? They'll get back on again and they'll try again and they'll fall off again and they'll get back on again and they'll keep doing it. No one's telling them to do it. There isn't a therapist saying, get back on your board because it'll teach you how to be resilient. They're just doing it. So again, it's teaching children this incredibly important value of resilience without, re without realizing it. And then lastly, I think it's like I've mentioned in the previous point, it's, it's a very supportive environment. People are encouraging each other. It's not competitive. There's no judgment. You know, so I think in summary, you know, it's a safe emotional space. It's a supportive environment, which is key. It's fun. It's calming. There's no judgment. It teaches kids to be present and in the moment, not worrying about what's happening tomorrow what happened yesterday or last week. They are absolutely focused on being present and in the moment. And it teaches them confidence and resilience, which they can then take away with them and apply in their everyday life.